In this video, I am going to show you how to use the network days function in Google Sheets. This is going to be a pretty short video because this is an easy function to do. So what the network days function does is it will calculate the total number of working days between two dates. So basically, it will exclude weekends and holidays and return the count between two dates. So the, the syntax of the network days function is the first argument is start date, which is just the beginning date that will be used to calculate the total number of working days. The second argument is the end date, which is the end date that will be used to calculate the number of total working days. And then the last argument is optional. Um, you can put in a range or an array that contains dates, which will not be counted in the final result. So these dates will end up being skipped from the total count. So just to show you how to use it, um, it is pretty simple again. So I'm gonna do equals network days. This is my start date. This is my end date. So that results in 10. And then this one, I will supply a holiday in the formula and it results in nine. So again, this is basically just counting weekdays, skipping weekends and holidays. So this one has a start date of August 30th and an end date of September 10th. And it results in 10 because again, working days is just the week skipping weekend. So one, two, three, four, five, skip the weekend, skip the weekend, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this one is the same exact date range, but it has the holiday in there which it now skips, so the result is nine. So that is the network days function. It's very easy to learn. Uh, try it out and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.